Dean, welcome. Hi, you've signed a new contract with Glamorgan. How pleased are you to be extending your stay here? Yeah, obviously very good news for myself. Um, yeah, it just it's really, really humbling to, to sign another extension of my contract. Um, hopefully minimum until the end of 2016. And uh, yeah, spending another two years at, at a club that I really enjoy playing. That's great. I understand this is your 20th pre-season here at Glamorgan. So how are you finding it? And how has it changed from your debut year in 96, 20 years ago? Yeah, it seems a long time ago when I first signed that summer contract in 1995 to be still standing here and talking about extending my contract into 2016. You know, it's, again, as I said, very humbling. Um, it's changed a great deal, you know, not only personnel, but the professional, professionalism at the club, the great new stadium we have, the wickets we play on, you know, there's a lot of differences that from when I started to now I'm playing. Um, yeah, and hopefully I can sort of carry on or leave behind the legacy so to speak. Too right, well, now we're uh, <clears throat> a long time ago since so reporting back on March 1st, how has your, uh, how's this winter been so far? You've been intense? Yeah, yeah, it's um, again as you, as probably all the public are aware, we are we are now on 12 month contracts and we've been in since sort of November the 5th, we've had October off, but yeah, it just never seems like we've been away, you know, we've got the marquee up, the sun is shining, um, you know, hopefully we can carry the, the sort of form that we showed early part of last season and towards the end and in the quarterfinals of the T20 stuff um, hopefully we can sort of take that forward into 2016 and 2015. So that's uh, your personal ambitions for this coming season and the year after uh, 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 is it building on what you've always done in the past the success you've had? Yeah it's just you know just trying to find those little bits of improvement all year in year out um, you're always trying to learn as a professional cricketer and especially as a spin bowler you know, you've got a couple of young off spinners coming through, you've got a couple of young leg spinners and a left arm spinner as well. So, you know, there's competition for places, which is great. It's what we all thrive on. Uh, but hopefully my sort of role moving forward as well, along with Robert Croft, is to try and nurture through the next young spinners at Glamorgan. And hopefully we can replicate what myself and Crofty had in the, in the early 2000s. And you mentioned that and uh, perhaps just the opportunity to reflect, obviously they won a couple of uh, National League titles, what were the standout moments for you over the last 20 years in the Morgan shirt? Yeah, obviously making my debut in 1996 at Lancashire was, was a fantastic effort for myself, great personal goal, moving on from that, winning the championship obviously in 1997, fantastic achievement, playing alongside some fantastic players. Receiving my cap in 2000 is... Um, something that will stick in my memory along with being awarded by Matthew Maynard up in Colwyn Bay so that was great and all the sort of one day stuff one day titles that we've won um, you know it's, the Lords finals do stick in the mind but it's a bit of a bittersweet you know um, hopefully we can go one step further in the next couple of years and, and win some decent silverware well I hope you finish on a high thanks for your time mate and we'll uh, look forward to the new season with you pleasure thank you